I'm sure somewhere in the thumbnail and in the picture, if you can't tell already, this is gonna be a very spoiler. Like, I'm talking lots and lots. It's, it's, the, the whole video is basically spoilers. So if you don't want the show ruined for you, totally understandable. I'm gonna do something with the thumbnail where it's like, it like shows, it represents what the video is about enough without spoiling the content for you. So you guys that don't wanna be spoiled, because I know a lot of people, you might be subscribed, but you don't want spoilers. But I just really wanna talk about this, these episodes clips i don't really know i'll get into that in a minute but i really just wanted to talk about this stuff because it's pretty interesting and i understand if you don't want spoilers so if you don't go away like go make a sandwich go to the bathroom go to work go to school because this is not the video for you because i'm going to be spoiling a lot of plot points rotten and steven universe so you've been warned spoiler did i get that out of the way did i, did I make that clear spoiler video okay let's talk about some shit. there is a lot going on in these clips so if you haven't heard or haven't seen there's a ton of clips on YouTube about an episode called like gem heist and it's also like what is it called uh that'll be all or something like that there's basically there's a ton of clips online right now of like a bunch of spoiler heavy stuff going on in Steven Universe the one episode is about Greg pretty much getting kidnapped by Blue Diamond and we see Blue Diamond in full fucking force we see her face and everything and she I like her personality she's really really cool she's very melancholy she's very very sad lamenting over the death of uh of Pink Diamond I almost said spoiler alert but this whole video is one big ass spoiler alert and um, I like her a lot. I thought she was gonna be like very menacing, very like like an authoritative presence. And you can tell in one scene that when she's talking to, um, I think her name is Belle Holly, Blue Holly, whatever the hell that one lady's name is with like the Princess Leia horn sticking out of her head. I'll put like a picture up of her right here. But like whoever she is, when she was talking to her, I noticed that she uh, she got very authoritative for a second. I was like, oh, it's still in there. But she's still very, very sad about the death of her comrade, work associate, sister lover i don't know but like they some kind of relation they all have all the diamonds have some kind of relation to go i'm just gonna call them sisters to make things easier so she's lamenting the death of her sister basically um we see like pink diamonds abandoned carriage on earth next to like blue diamonds i didn't see like the the clips i saw didn't match up perfectly in the one episode where uh, greg gets kidnapped i just saw like little bits and pieces so i'm kind of piecing together the plot as i'm going along but what it seems like is like steven's been crying uncontrollably he doesn't know why and it's revealed that like um his he's crying because he's like channeling the emotions of blue diamond sort of which is odd but i guess it's a thing steven can do and uh, we see her at like the grave site or like uh an abandoned carriage that i'm, I'm assuming carried pink diamond and she's just kind of like i said like lamenting the death of her sister and uh i like her personality she's very like melancholic and she's very sad i love her design these diamonds man they are fucking huge these two episodes really put in perspective how colossal these women are they are huge talk about your giant women like there's one musical number with a yellow diamond and blue diamond where they are just they're, they're gigantic they're they're enormous like it's ridiculous i can't wait for them to explain like who made these like who made the diamonds like were they are they like the god figures i mean like you understand why they like kind of uh, hold them in such prestige because they are so gigantic they're like t the, the uh excuse me uh, they're like the tallest from Invader Zim. It's just like, they are so fucking huge. It's crazy. And I, I like her design a lot. I really, really like her. I wonder what she looks like without the cloak on. We haven't really seen that. She has little tufts of hair on the side. So I wonder what she looks like without that on. Steven's like channeling her emotions. Greg gets kidnapped. And then we lead into the next episode, I think. Like I said, I'm kind of piecing these things together because I've just seen random bits and pieces on YouTube. And people often say like, why do you even like watch spoilers? Don't you want the surprise? Look, I can't help it. I'm that kind of person. I was the kind of kid when I was little that I would shake Christmas presents when they were under the tree. I just, I can't resist. I can't fucking help myself. And in my feed, cause like I watch Steven Universe stuff a lot on YouTube. So and anytime there's like a clip, like YouTube goes like, hey, let me recommend you this video that spoils a fuck ton of the plot. And the one picture I saw I was like, well, that kind of spoils things already. Might as well click on the video. So yeah, we also in this episode we go to like a, a space base where like uh, where yellow diamond and blue diamond are both docked, and we see like this whole colony of these uh, amethysts, like the same amethysts that were made in Amethyst's kindergarten. And these guys are just, from what we've seen, from what I've seen, they are just a colorful batch of idiots. I love them. It seems like everything that's made on Earth is just fucking, they're free spirited, they don't give a shit and they're kind of stupid. There's this one red gemstone running around, I think it's a Jasper, I'm not sure. That I love her. She's got like this long red hair. She like picks up Amethyst randomly through the episode and just runs away like, yes, I'm not the shortest anymore. I love these guys. These are awesome. I haven't seen, I don't think I've seen the full episode. This one's Gem Heist, I believe it is. I've seen two titles for it. But this episode in it, um, 
I love Amethyst's fucking people. They're basically her family. I love these guys. They're so likable just from, from Jump. Um, we also get introduced to like a new gem that's like Holly Bell or something. I can't remember what the hell it was. It was, it was a weird name. She's uh, she's like the, I guess she's like the second in command to Blue Diamond. She's got these two like Princess Leia to cinnamon rolls on, on top of her head. She also has like an electric whip. It's pretty cool. And there's a pretty scene, there's a pretty cool scene where they beat the hell out of her towards the end of the episode, which I liked. We also see Yellow Diamond have like a musical number, which I didn't really like it at first, but after listening to it for a couple of times, I actually, because like originally like the two pearls in the background, like their voices like synchronizing together just kind of makes my brain hurt. But the musical number is actually not that bad. And I like the message of it. I like how vulnerable it makes you yellow diamond look because like so far we've seen her as this authoritative figure who just kind of seems like uh, to, to put it like to, to not mince words kind of a, a heartless bitch but in it you can see that she genuinely does care about pink diamond i think like that that's why she's so mean is because like they're like look they killed i, I guess her sister i'm gonna i'm just gonna call i'm gonna keep calling them sisters uh they basically murdered her sister so it's like fuck that planet I, I hate everything about that planet including all these goddamn fucking rose quartz gem shards i'm sick of everything about that goddamn planet fuck it and towards the end of the musical number, we see that she's like legitimately sad about it. Like, I almost feel bad for them. I can't wait for them. And looking at how big they are, how the hell did Rose Quartz manage to kill one of these things? They are so huge. They look like Colossuses from Shadow of the Colossus. Like, there's a scene where Greg and uh, Steven are running away. Like, uh, ah, my hand. There's a scene while while Yellow Diamond is having her musical number where, where Greg and Steven are running away and trying to like hide behind pillars. These things are huge. Like, the diamonds are gigantic. How the hell did Rose Quartz manage to kill one of these things? I still think like, uh, that's why I think that it has to be a situation where like, I think Pink Diamond wanted to die maybe? Not wanted to die, but it was like a, it was like one of those fights where it was like, it was an understanding like, yes, I know I'm going to die. And I kind of, in a way, I feel like we need to be stopped. Something like that. I don't know exactly what I'm trying to say. Basically, I don't think that, uh, I don't think Pink Diamond is the villain that, uh, that the story may make her seem. I don't think she was a bad guy. I don't think she was a bad person either. I think that maybe she just, uh, I don't know. I don't even know what the hell I'm trying to say, honestly. I'm not really good at theorizing, but I feel like it's not, it's not basically, my, my basic thing is like, I don't think it's as simple as, oh, I'm a bad guy and I'm here to stop you, Pink Diamond. And oh, you're here to stop me. And then I killed the bad guy and the day is saved. I'm pretty sure killing Pink Diamond broke Rose Quartz up inside. I'm pretty sure like she was most likely friends with her. I mean, that was her diamond. I mean, like they were probably close. So the killer was probably it probably sucked for her honestly. Um, yeah, I love seeing all these different like viewpoints of this war. You have people like uh, you have people like Bismuth who are just like fuck the diamonds. They're, they're they they got their noses up in the air. They got sticks up their asses. Fuck them. Let's just kill them. And then you've got like their point of view where it's just kind of like they killed Pink Diamond. You guys killed one of our own. Fuck you. We're gonna blow that planet up. So I mean like I like seeing I like it when it's not nearly as easy and cut and dry It's just like good guys bad guys we get like a, a bunch of different perspectives and I like that and again I absolutely love blue diamonds design. I fucking love it. And I don't really know why I just I love her design The room that it takes place in is filled with all these bubbled pink quartzes. It's crazy so that means when after rose court not rose quartz after pink diamond died they bubbled all of her soldiers, they're all in one room just floating. It's like, so that makes me wonder, did Rose Quartz like band together all of her people to fight against Pink Diamond? Or was it just like that one pink, uh, that one Rose Quartz went rogue, so fuck all of them, the entire species is flawless, just bubble all of them. We don't really know yet, at least I don't know. But that's crazy, they just bubbled all of her soldiers and kept them in one room. And also this space base seems to be I don't really know what the explanation is, but it seems to be floating pretty close to Earth because it has like a, a human zoo aboard it, which that leads me because like they say like the human zoo belonged to Pink Diamond. So does that mean like Pink Diamond liked humans somewhat? I mean, I don't they didn't show a scene. I didn't see a scene of them actually showing the human zoo. But like Greg is like he has like a braided hairstyle and flowers in his hair or some shit. I don't know. So I'm guessing maybe she took care of them somewhat. I don't know. Maybe Pink Diamond liked humans. And if that was the case, I, I always had a theory that um, maybe Pink, uh, maybe Rose Quartz killed Pink Diamond because of like out of mercy. Like maybe it was like a like maybe she told Rose Quartz to kill her for some reason. I don't know. I just feel like I feel like that whole situation is gonna have a big twist to it. It's not gonna be as cut and dry as like, oh, Pink Diamond was evil, so I poofed her. I don't think it's gonna be that easy. I think there's gonna be a reason behind the death. I mean, like that's common sense, no shit. But I mean, I'm just saying like it doesn't seem as simple as just she was evil. So I killed her. It seems more. I don't even think it's a, it's, a, it's like a matter of she was um, she was doing something wrong and I killed her. I don't I don't know. Like I can't wait for them to explain that.
Speaking of the diamonds, in all the clips I saw, we never saw the white diamond. And that has been driving me nuts because that's the diamond we know the, like the least amount about. Like we know a lot about Yellow Diamond. She's kind of a bitch. You love her. She's got this like authority to her. They even say it in this this episode in some of these clips. Like uh, Holy Bell or whatever the hell her name is, Princess Leia Jim talks about like how she's so cool and she has such a big authority and such a presence when she's on screen. And she's right. And then Blue Diamond's kind of like the, the the more sad, like somber one who's like more quiet and reserved. I want to know more about the silver one or the white one, like. What does she look like? What is she like? Like, what's her pr Cause like she has like a Vegeta's hairstyle from that one portrait we saw. So what the hell is she like? I can't wait for them to explain more about her. And I can't wait for a flashback involving Pink Diamond. Uh, is there anything else really to cover in this? I pretty much like gushed and ranted about everything that I saw that I thought was interesting. I wonder what's up with Steven crying. What's up with that? He has like uncontrollable tears for some reason. I guess like he's, he's they explain like he's channeling the emotions of Blue Diamond. So does that mean all the diamonds Yellow Diamond doesn't cry when Blue Diamond cries, so I don't know if like maybe just Pink Diamond and, and Blue Diamond had a connection. But why would he be crying? It'd be more of a quartz thing. I don't know, maybe it relates back to the whole thing when he was underground with the cluster and like he felt all the emotions and all the screaming of the fucking cluster and all that, so I don't know. It's gonna be interesting though at, at any rate. This whole thing was really, really interesting to watch. I thought this whole episode, was, was like all these bits and pieces together was so interesting. The main reason I was gonna review Gem Harvest, like you just like just uh just to give you some perspective on why I haven't reviewed the past couple episodes, I was gonna review Gem Harvest, but I didn't have anything really to say about it. It was just kind of like a normal Thanksgiving, let's all sit around the table and eat kind of special. I didn't really have anything to talk about. But with these new clips, there's so many plot heavy things going on that I couldn't resist making a video about it because it was so interesting. And I can't wait to get like the full story. This isn't really a review, this is just kind of like me like theorizing and just talking and just talking about the leaks. And uh, I can't wait for them to explain more, like the actual episodes will be premiered. I haven't heard anything on, if anybody knows when new episodes start, like leave a comment down below or something. I would love to know, because I have no idea. I just, I checked YouTube this morning and it was like, hey, look at this, recommended. And I was like, is that fake? And then I clicked on it, I was like, oh, this is not fake. This is actually interesting as hell. So yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say about the leaks, guys. I haven't seen, if I see anything else, I guess I'll... I'm probably just gonna wait. I'll, I'm just pretty much, I've gotten out all my leak talk in this video. If there's anything more, I'll just wait for the episode to premiere. It was really interesting seeing Amethyst's family. I like seeing her with the other Amethyst. I like seeing that all the Amethysts from Earth kind of have the same personality. They're all a bunch of idiots and I love them. Um, I like seeing Blue Diamond on screen. She is so cool. I like her. She's, I like more, I like somber, melancholy characters. I don't know if she's always like that. But it's funny because like Yellow Diamond's like, oh my god, girl, it's been it's been a thousand years since she died. Get over it. Like, I like seeing the diamonds interact, and I can't wait to see like how this whole thing is eventually going to end. So yeah, pretty interesting. Have you guys seen the leaks? I mean, they're on YouTube. I, I don't blame you if you haven't seen them, because like you, you want to be surprised. I get that, but uh, I've been so fucking bored lately <laughs> that I uh, I've been wanting some Steven Universe because it's like I don't watch a lot of TV shows, and that was like one that I really really liked. So I wanted to come back to it and talk about it. So that's pretty much my thoughts on the leaks. I've got really nothing else to say. I hope you guys enjoyed the video as always, and thanks for watching.